This is uh, Yandex Algorithm Cup finals. I even have a t-shirt from like two years ago when I went to on-sites. I will not comment a lot because I want to perform well. Wish me good luck. But I'm here with post contest commentary. And instead of talking about problems and their solutions, I will mainly discuss my strategy and mistakes from the contest. My first, first mistake was to say that t-shirt was from two years ago. It's actually from 2016, four years ago. Later, Yandex, I don't think they organized this competition. Uh, in the Yandex Cup, problems aren't necessarily sorted by difficulty, unlike, for example, code forces rounds. So problem A isn't necessarily easiest, but this time, a was open by default, the statement was short, problem turned out easy, so I went for this one if, without looking at other problems. But it's important that uh, scoring here is, again, not like in code forces. it's not that the sum of your scores for problems matter, your last submission matters as a tiebreaker. You don't need to solve easy problems first, you can wait with submitting. It's okay if you solve everything without submitting and then like in the last minute of a contest submit everything or just when you're done with problems you think you solved uh, in the whole contest you will not solve anything more than submit everything. Some people do that in ad coder rounds. Ad coder rounds have the same scoring where it's not that if you solve easy problem in first minute you should submit. It doesn't matter in ad coder, it doesn't matter in Yandex Cup because the maximum submission time is taken, not the sum of submission times. Uh, is there something interesting in my code here? Uh, in the main function, I do binary search over something, and in real values, if those values are bigger than one, it's better to take square root of two values instead of uh, the, the low plus high over two. In line 59, you can see that square root of low times high, uh, because it's better for relative error. Also, I used something was wrong, I printed a lot of debug information, I used wolframalpha.com to draw, my quadratic function from the sample test to see what should happen there. Uh, thanks to that and some prints, I realized that my function given x compute derivative, or com given derivative compute for which x this der derivative happens, this function was wrong uh, because I think I for just forget to put the brackets there uh, around there minus b, around line 40. And Shall I correct it now? Yeah, we see a correction, derivative minus b. Output for sample test is 8.125. Then you will see a submit. It's not that I should wait a lot with submitting. It just, often it's better to just shut submit and be sure that your problem is fine to completely focus on another problem. Then I quickly saw in standings that some people have some points in D, in problem D but this is problem with subtasks where you can get partial score like in some google kickstart or google code problems you get only two points for input with digits two through nine uh, the input is just one huge number very long up to million digits and uh, you need to put power sign between some digits to maximize the total score like if you're given two 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 such a such a string, you put power operator between every two consecutive digits and then you get huge number, two power, two power, two power, two. Uh, but it's, it's so huge that you shouldn't really compute that answer. You should just put those operators everywhere. I think this is just FFT. But then it's harder with digits one and zero. Contest Camille just said, oh, this is easy, just FFT. I often say that if you watch my streams, you will often hear me saying in the, at the beginning of solving a problem, like, oh, this is just X. And then I spent half an hour on it because it doesn't, it isn't so easy. But the problem E was, I, I switched from D to E because solving just easy subtask in D wasn't that important. Uh, I would just waste time if later I wanted to solve bigger subtask it would solve smaller subtasks automatically. So I decided to first go with E uh, because again, statement was short. <laughs> Even the title says easy as ABC. And I'm just quite strong at FFT. If I see a FFT problem, I will quickly realize it's that. FFT means uh, to compute convolution. FFT is just an algorithm for that. Um, I first here 
thought that it's very easy, then realized that we need to also do divide and conquer. So it's divide and conquer plus div FFT. I know it sounds scary. Uh, there is also a subtask here, but it's very easy, where you just multiply value of some characters by two. Oh, and I wrote a generator. And it was a mistake. In this contest, the, I think there is no penalty for submitting and getting a time and exit or wrong answer. I should have just submitted. Now, do I want to submit this? Do I want to reveal that this is an easy problem? I don't. Somebody solve it. People know that I'm good at FFT. Yeah, let's wait with this. I will implement the full thing, though. Yeah. So maybe actually writing a generator made some sense. Uh, to make sure that my solution is correct, but I didn't submit. Other people would then know which problem is next easy problem to solve. Also, I would reveal that I did it in like five, ten minutes. That's some information for others. If it doesn't hurt me in the standings, the fact that I'm now doing something else and only then I will submit uh, that problem E, then uh, why not do it? Uh, strategy is important, not just solving a problem fast and submitting. Don't try this in code forces. In code forces, you're hurt if you wait with, any, with submitting any problem because the number of points you would get decreases. Now I'm solving problem B. Like, I didn't think for more than one minute and that was my mistake. It's some geometry problem where you need to ca count f uh, force of points, quadri something, I don't know a word, uh, such that at least two opposite sides are parallel. And I had so much issues with subtracting something because I overcounted stuff, then I uh, undercounted. And at the end, I computed like four different values. And I said that A plus B minus C over 2 plus D over 2 is the final answer. For sure, I should have stopped in the middle of solving this problem. And I should have just thought about more, like, about, about a solution without so many cases. I already have more than 100 lines. and Just like with FFT, I'm strong with geometry. And usually I solve such problems faster than others. And here, some people, later I saw that in the standings, some people solve this problem B in like 10 minutes, and I spent 40 minutes on it. I think right now you're seeing everything times 25. I think I, I lost the contest because of this problem B. As, as you heard, contest Camille is depressed <laughs> because he lost the contest because of problem B. Indeed, wasting extra half an hour hurts a lot on an easy problem. You don't have then time to solve hard problems and like, your, your time is worse. Now I decided that uh, it's time to submit those two points, to get those two points on D. And after I submit, I don't always just wait for verdict. I don't want to waste time. I open some other problem. And then, after some time on doing another, of doing another problem, I realized that my D was wrong answer. I guess here in a few seconds, past Camille realizes that. It's just about opening standings or here refreshing the page because on the right uh, there are scores for every problem. Right now I'm thinking on C. C is interactive problem. Oh, yeah. Here I realized that I have zero points for D. Something's wrong, and then it turns out that just for last two digits something is different. If the last two digits of that log string is like 2, 2, then you shouldn't put a power there, because 22 is better than 2 at power 2. So it was just about comparing uh, for those two last digits x at power y versus 10 times x plus y. And because numbers are so small and you don't care about ties, I could do that with doubles. In general, don't use function power in C++ to compute integer power of something, A at power B. Then I tried C for some more time, because it's my style, I like interactive problems. They don't really require knowledge, just thinking. Then I, looking at standings, I realized that mm, uh, I need F, I need F to be in the top, because F was worth 10 points, C and D were worth around 7 more points for me, if I solved that fully. And then for like an hour here, I'm trying to solve F. I had some ideas. Mm, I thought about a randomized algorithm. It's basically about creating some cycle of odd length. And 
creating multiple paths, like I, I think at least. It is a cycle where some extra paths grow out of it. Mm. Uh, so so that uh, this way there you create this way a lot of cycles with different colors of edges because colors of edges were there well, i jumped back to c for a moment i also considered d just for a few minutes but basically i knew from standings that i need to solve f if i want good score if i want good place because it's worth more points maybe c and d if i solve both then that would be fine as well but sadly, I didn't succeed. At the end, I got 25th place in this contest. I will show you in a moment the final standings. Here we go. Uh, Gennady won with the full score, just all problems solved. Huge congrats. And he did it in 2 hours 25 minutes out of 3 hours. Just, that's just amazing. Uh, the last column is your total time, the number of seconds from the start of the contest to your last submission. Uh, soon, Kevin second place uh, without C, the interactive problem, then several people without F. I think top three got uh, cash prizes. And I am here 23rd place, just A, B, D, E. I would be a bit higher, like here, if I didn't uh, spend so much time in B. At least I'm the first among people from Poland. That's some achievement. Uh, if, if it was some qualifying round to the finals and they asked the usual number of 25 finalists to the on sites then I would get to the finals that's also good also not everybody in the world participated mainly Russians because it's a Russian competition and again huge congrats to Gennady for winning and thank you to thanks to you for watching this video hope you enjoyed this format if you want more stuff like that or just full uh, two-hour screencast, consider visiting my second channel where I do streams and I do such long screencasts, sometimes with commentary. See ya!